Have you ever tried practicing self-love to maintain your fitness goals and successes? Uh, no. That's a whole bunch of hippy dippy bull shark. I mean, look at these guns. <gasps> Protein. Right, you guys, on a more serious note, welcome to my channel. I am Shelby, and my channel is Raising Wellness. We talk about self love, we talk about gratitude, we talk about veganism, meal prepping, fitness, and nutrition. And I truly believe that you and your health matter, and you should be provided with the best education you can possible to give you the most incredible life of your dreams and all that really stems from your mindset and that's why today we're going to get into how self-love actually helps you to maintain all those fitness gains you get at the gym all right you guys so those of you who are completely new to the idea of self-love what it is in a nutshell is the belief that your mind, body, and soul all work together and that in providing yourself with love and compassion and understanding that you'll be able to better provide for not only yourself and your life but for others as well. So self-love is a, it sounds like something that's selfish but in actuality it's something that you give yourself so that your cup overflows and can give to others. I want to start you guys off with a few examples and a lot of you probably can relate to these examples as I myself can also relate to them. So the first example is you're going to the gym, you're working out, you've been working out for a few weeks, you feel strong and you feel confident and then you go home and you look in the mirror and you see no results. I'm sure some of you have felt that way, I have felt that way myself. And so you start to see no results and you perpetuate that cycle of this isn't working, I'm wasting my time at the gym, there's no results happening, nothing is working in my favor, and all that kind of plays in your mind and it actually breaks you down. It makes you stop going to the gym maybe four times a week, however many, how long you were going for, and then you start to like eat a little bit of this kind of food that might be not so good for you or um, your gym schedule starts to go lax and it starts to become three days, two days, every once in a while. And a lot of us, I'm sure, have found ourselves in that cycle of going all out at the gym and then not seeing results and then stopping and then having to start all over again. So have you seen that in yourself? Have you seen that cycle before? The second example I'm going to give you is this one. You're going to the gym, you're doing your workouts, you're eating healthy, you're feeling good, you're seeing results, and you're gaining a lot of confidence. But when you gain this confidence, you start saying, oh, it's okay, I look good, I can eat that piece of pizza. Oh, it's okay, I can skip the gym today and go party with my friends. And that becomes a cycle of not staying consistent with your workouts, not staying consistent with your nutrition, and you start to wake up hungover on Sundays, you don't want to meal prep, you kind of lose that good pattern that you were in that was giving you results, and eventually it leads to the stopping of that awesome ritual and regime that you were in, in which it was giving you results. Have you been there before? I know I have, be honest. So, if you have felt any of those two examples exactly to the T, or maybe you've felt a different combinations of things between those two examples, then this tip of practicing self-love is going to help you incredibly. I have been in both of those situations. I went in those cycles multiple times until I found self-love. And what self-love means for your fitness and nutrition and your health is that every day you wake up and think, do I love myself? What would I do if I loved myself as much as I love my parents or my siblings or my child or my spouse? What would I do for me that would show me that I love myself? And I guarantee you, you're not going to want to go binge drink. You're not going to want to send your kid off to binge drink because you know it wouldn't be good for them. You're not going to want to send your parents off to be hungover in bed 
on a Sunday morning. You wouldn't want to make them feel that way. So why are you making yourself feel that way? If you truly, in the depths of your heart, love yourself, wouldn't you want to treat yourself with the utmost respect and compassion and love and kindness? I'm sure you would want to do that. I know I want to do that. And every day, it's a, it's a battle between feeling like I deserve to eat that treat or I deserve to lay on the couch or if I love myself enough to treat this body, my mind, and my soul with the utmost kindness and respect and care. You have been gifted in your body, in your mind, and in your soul. And with self-love, with loving yourself with the utmost kindness and compassion and understanding, I'm sure that you will see the true benefit in practicing like you love yourself. So every morning when you wake up, I want to challenge you to do something. I want you to say, I love you. And at first, it may not feel real. It may feel silly. You may laugh. But keep doing it. Keep repeating it so that you remember throughout your day and throughout your morning, throughout your evening, throughout whenever you are awake and working or doing whatever you do during your day, that you remember to think, I love you. And that is going to trigger an idea what am I doing right now that says I love you to myself? Think about that. Are you doing something right now that you would do for a loved one to yourself? Are you doing something right now that you would do to your brother or sister because you love them? Or are you treating yourself badly? Are you giving yourself cheat days because you deserve them, but in fact, they're actually just harming your body? Are you giving yourself everything you can at the gym so that this machine that you've been given can work at its utmost potential? Are you giving yourself the time and space you need each day to rebalance and to refocus and to find your happy place? I want you to write down everything that makes you happy. Everything that makes you feel love. And I want you to practice to do those things every single day. If you don't find the space in your day to practice self-love, then I promise all of your goals and dreams and aspirations will not happen. They might happen, but you're not going to be happy because you haven't practiced self-love, self-care, self-awareness, self-understanding. All of those things are so important. Aside from what your goals are, you need to look at you and say, Shelby, or whatever your name is, what makes you happy? What makes you feel loved? What makes you want to live this life and to go on and to be the best person that you can be and do those things? Self-love is self-awareness, which is self-respect. And all of it goes hand in hand with your fitness regime. Because that is the topic that we're talking about in this video. If you practice self-love, you will more than likely be able to stick with a fitness plan, be able to stick with your nutrition, be able to keep going to the gym with whoever your accountability buddy is. You will want to do those things for yourself because they make you feel good. And when you get to that place where you feel like there's no results happening, where you feel like you're strong and soul enough, you'll want to keep going because whether you're not seeing results, you want to keep going because it makes you feel good. Keep going because you will see results, but you have to understand self-love. If you get swole and get confident, you will still want to keep going because you know that that is what makes you feel good. That is what fills your cup up every single day. So I urge you, urge you, urge you 
to every single day wake up and say, I love you. What can I do to serve you right now? And that's what's going to keep you going on your goals. If you have any questions or you want to get in touch with me, put it in the comments down below. If it's an urgent message, then you can email me at raisingtowellness at gmail.com and I will be super excited to answer any questions that you may have or any inquiries. If this is something that you struggle with, if self-love is something you've tried and you don't know how to go about it or it hasn't worked for you, then contact me. I am a coach and I run groups online in which we cover nutrition, fitness, and mindset wellness. If you need to be surrounded by a community of people that'll keep you accountable, then contact me because I know exactly how to get you there. I do this every single day for work, for myself, for others, and I would love, love, love to be a part of your life and to help you reach all of your potential. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day.